Hello students and parents. Today we're going to be looking at how you look at your power school grades. This is very important to see if you're on track towards graduating and completing all your credits and getting ready for college or your university. Uh, if we look at our uh, form right here, this is a, the student schedule that your child should receive. And here we have three, you, you have your schedule, what classes you're taking. Um, I blocked the names and passwords to protect the uh, student. But here you have your the PowerSchool login website. That's what we're going to be using, greendot.org public school. Um, just follow that right there. You have it. And you also have the student login and password. And the parents, you're going to be using this, the parent login and password. On the bottom is a barcode in case you ever forget your lunch ID and you need to use that. Okay, now we're just going to type in what it said on that form, um, ps.greendot.org backslash public. Okay, so I'm going to type in the student code. First, I type in the username, and then I type in the password. Remember all capital letters? Once I'm in, I'll be able to see all the grades and classes. On the left side, you see grades and attendance. To see the attendance, you can look at the bottom, and here it says the student has been absent four classes, most likely in one day, since we have um, one through four. It might have been like a Tuesday or Thursday where you have all periods. Looks like that student missed that day, so they missed all four classes, so four absences. You'll see the grades, you'll see the teachers and the, the course schedule. You'll also see the GPA, which is very important. We're going to talk about that. And then you could see the absence totals, absence by day. Here you'll see the grade history later on. There's nothing right now because we haven't finished semesters yet. But over the years, you'll see what they have for each semester for every year. Attendance history, a more detailed look of when they were absent. And it looks like that student was indeed absent on a Thursday. H means Thursday. T-H. Thursday and and you can keep looking down for a detailed view of which days they were absent and it'll go through all the days and the classes that were missed. Teacher comments, this happens at the end of the semester after finals. The teachers will post a comment so you can see how they what they said about your performance. School bulletin, I don't think we use this feature so don't worry about this yet. Um, class registration, again it tells you what classes you are registered to take. That's what you're currently taking and how much units each is. 5 times 7 makes you 35. Here's your balance in terms of what you owe and all your fees. And here is your schedule in a color-coded view of all your classes. Let's go back to grades and attendance. When you go through your grades, here are your classes. And let's talk about grades real quick. Um, so remember that colleges only want A's and B's. If you have a C, that means you have to explain it to the college um, admissions interview process. So you have to explain it. Wherever you get an interview, you have to tell them why you have a C. So you're not out of the water yet. You still have to explain that. And I've heard from some alumni that it's very intense uh, when they ask you to explain why you have a C. So again, remember, Cs don't look really nice for colleges. They want you to explain those. Um, you have to defend yourself and give a whole reason of why, what might have been happening during that time. There might have been a hardship in your family or something happened. You have to back that up. D's and F's, they're not allowed uh, because you have to make them up. If you want to go to a university, D's and F's are not allowed at university, so you have to retake those classes. Here are your three options. You can do them at a university, uh, you can do that at an adult school or night school, uh, but we just heard that those are very tough to get into, so that's not no longer an option. You could do them in uh, summer school, but there is no summer school at Animal Leadership. And I heard that the nearest ones, like Morningside and I think Inglewood, um, only take their seniors in, in priority um, and only from their school. So we've tried to enroll our students there, and they've told us that they can't get a class to make up. So that's not an option. So where, do you, where else do you do it? Online courses, there's, those are options. But universities, Cal States, and some UCs and privates don't accept online makeup work because to them, they don't feel that those are those classes are as strict or as rigorous so they won't accept them because they don't value the credit from a makeup course that is online and then that leaves other options which might be maybe at another type of university making that up but the reality is A's and B's 
D's and F's um, no longer an option. Um, I want to make sure you all graduate. And um, D's and F's are hard to clear. And they're saying that right now that it's almost impossible to clear and make those up. So your goal is A's and B's. D's and F's, be very careful of getting those. You don't want those at all. Now let's look at the GPA. The GPA, we're going we're gonna to go in order of what happens. What, what does the GPA mean? So the GPA I want everyone to shoot for is 3.5 to 4.0 because 3.5 to 4.0 gives you options. You're eligible to try out for the top universities in the country. Um, you're able to get scholarships, get a lot of money to attend these schools. Sometimes they give you full rides. You get a lot of money from the state when you have above a 3.5. And you can also apply to the Ivy Leagues. Ivy Leagues are the top schools in the country like Yale, Harvard, Cornell, Brown, Stanford, etc. And you also have a better shop, uh, better shot at the top universities like, like other universities like UCs, UCLA, UC Berkeley, USC, LMU, and those types of universities. So 3.5 and above gives you a lot of money and a lot of uh, opportunities to try out for these universities. Um, also, going sometimes you get up higher than a 4.0, and that's because you take AP classes. Later on, that starts in 10th grade, I think, or 11th grade, and honors courses. So APs and honors courses give you an extra point on your GPA. Next, uh, we have 3.3. Uh, 3.3s are important because that's the UC and private school minimum GPA requirement to apply. So you have a 3.3, you can apply to UCs. University of California schools like UCLA, UC Santa Barbara, UC Santa Cruz, UC San Diego, UC Berkeley, um, and those types of, of schools. Also, you can you with a 3.3, you can apply to USC, um, LMU, Pepperdine, Stanford. Um, you're not guaranteed admissions, but you can actually pip, pick up a form and, uh, and apply for it and fill it out. Then we have 3.0. 3.0 allows you to attend other school universities. Um, and it does give you a shot at some universities, some colleges that have a little bit less. Uh, you can apply for Cal States with the 3.0 now. Uh, so 3.0 Cal States, I mean Cal State LA, Cal State Dominguez Hills, Cal State Northridge, Cal State Cal Poly Pomona, you know, those types of schools. Or Cal State Long Beach, I don't know if I mentioned that. But now let's go lower than that. 2.5, that's the minimum to play for athletics. Uh, so if you want to play sports, 2.5 is what's needed. If you drop below that, you get a probation, and you might not play. You have to pick it up within a month, I believe. 2.5 is also the minimum for some um, community colleges. Um, El Camino might accept lower than that GPA, um, but definitely um, Santa Monica College, um, City uh, Long Beach City College, Pasadena City College, things like that. So again, that's uh, 2.5. If you drop lower than that, um, we also, I think I said 2.5 is minimum for athletics. I think I said that. So if you have 2.5, you can play sports. But also, if you want to go into the pros and be an athlete, then you want to be recruited out of the top schools. By that, I mean like privates and UCs because that's where the scouts go to recruit you. If you, they want you to go to the NFL, if they want you to go play for the you know, Mexican or you know any national team you know in in latin america or in north america like the mls um nfl nba those types of sports because they recruit from ncaa schools which tend to have a higher gpa entrance so 3.3 if you're thinking about going to the pros um going lower let's say 2.0 you qualify for some trade schools like itt tech icdc i believe um uei those types of schools where you, you want to go study mechanics you want to be a, get be a registered nurse if you want to you know do some sorts of trade schools like um, maybe fashion design uh, computer design um, computer technician and more of the technical works then you drop below 2.0 and then your options go really low below 1.0 might mean you have to you might not graduate you have to do continuation school or retake the ninth grade 1.0 and higher, you still have an ability to graduate. You might have to make up a lot of credits, and you might have to take night school for, you know, two years. So night school is not a fun thing. It's about four hour, a four hour class, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, if you miss for one semester. 
so it's not a fun experience um, you would get out of, of here at 2 30 from your classes you'd go home and then start your class at 3 30 or 4 and go on to 7 or maybe 10 depending on what class you met, missed it also costs money some of them cost two hundred dollars to enroll including your books and all those things and registration fees so it's not a fun process now let's look at if you want to email a teacher you just click on the name right there and you can email them directly so that's another thing you have next you have um, the grades so let's say you want to click on the grades one thing that's important is you see it says uh, quarter one quarter two semester one you know we have a two quarters make up a semester so right now we're having quarter one quarter one's about to end in about a week or two and then we're gonna start quarter two so quarter one plus quarter two you average those grades up and you get your semester grade this is the one that's sent to college this one's not finalized because we have another quarter which is good for you because you can improve this grade if you have anything lower than a C uh, you still have time but this is the grade that's going to be shipped out to the universities also to your employers who are going to be hiring you for, the, for a job and they want to see good GPAs the average employer will select anyone with 3.0 and above to work anywhere mostly anything below that they start questioning your ability to be on time and to have good work ethic and to be able to listen to instructions now here if you want to check more details about it let's say we're going to check for biology you click on it click on the grade or the letter or the percentage right here and here you'll see it'll give you your quiz scores and all those things it'll give you all the assignments that we've done so far and tell you if you've completed it or not what grade you have if you want further information for example let's see what exam one covered you click on it and it gives you more of a description of what it's about so let's get back out of that so that's how you see your grades so let's see how this student is doing the student has a 3.86 so they're definitely on track not only for college but for scholarships and for the top school so this is a preferable GPA um, that just means the student has about an A average um, 4.0 means all A's 3.0 means B average uh, you know 2.0 means a C average 1.0 means a D average etc it goes like that now what does an A mean? an A means that you basically understand 90% or higher of the information taught by that teacher 80% or, or a B means that you understand from about 80 to 90% of the information a C means you're an average student you know about 70 to 80% of the information a D means you know about 60 to 70 percent of the information which is pretty unacceptable for a lot of universities and lower than that we won't talk about F's alright so your homework now is just to print this out and have your parents sign below have your parents sign right next to the GPA so they understand what you um, what you have and if you're eligible for universities and as we mentioned make sure you explain this video to your parents have them watch this video with you and you translate what's going on here there will be a Spanish one coming out soon so your parents can get hours by watching it and following certain instructions that we'll tell you later but as of right now make sure you've translated this video to your parents and they know what your GPA means and they should sign right next to it. You're turning that in the next day. Thank you.